7's Good Morning El Paso. Well, rise and shine and a very good morning. El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. Thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Hillary Florin. And I'm Nicole Gomez. Good morning, everyone. Well, we continue with our complete coverage of the migrant crisis. Although the number of migrants at Sacred Heart Church in particular is going down, mainly because of border enforcement initiatives, the number of migrants right along the border barrier near the border highway continues to number in the thousands. And good morning, El Paso. Saul Signs went down there to see those groups for himself, as well as to talk to border officials about the fate of the migrants who chose not to go travel to Sacred Heart Church, but rather surrender to Border Patrol agents. Good morning, El Paso. Saul Signs joins us live from Sacred Heart Church. Well, good morning, Hillary and Nicole. Yes, we're outside Sacred Heart Church, and we can see that there are very few, a lot fewer migrants who are sleeping out here than we've seen in the days before. But motorists who are driving along the border highway, they can see possibly see silhouettes of some of those migrants who are up uh, camping outside and near that border barrier. But from a bird's eye view, you can see hundreds, if not thousands of migrants camping and waiting out there to be processed. The number of migrants camping out, exposed to the elements near the river, are overwhelming. These are migrants who have surrendered to Border Patrol. Agents are never far away. But unlike migrants sleeping on the streets downtown, these migrants are sleeping on dirt, where food and water are scarce. We, we don't have that capability of providing uh, that type of uh, food or beverage here out in the, in the border. Like I mentioned, uh, we are doing our best to uh, expedite the transportation of these folks into our facilities as soon as possible. But Baca says once they are picked up and taken to be processed, they're medically evaluated as well as fed. This is just one of two groups that are out here camping near the river. And according to Border Patrol agents, they estimate that there are as many as 1,000 people right here, right now. However, they are taking some of these migrants to be processed. But as these migrants are taken away, more continue to arrive. What's happening, Saul, is that people keep trickling in. So as we as we transport them out, uh, more trickle in. So, I mean, the group uh, as a whole has been there hours. The thing is, it's not the same people. The fear is the number of migrants in groups like these could grow even more once Title 42 expires, and that produces challenges. While the vast majority here are surrendering, there are those who flee, darting in and out of the border highway, creating dangerous conditions for the migrant, the driver, and the agent. Uh, so we have to move our resources to those areas where people are looking to avoid apprehension so we can stop them uh, before they get to the, the urban environment into the city of El Paso. And Agent Baca adds, you may have noticed right there that there were a lot of women and children who were boarding that bus. Well, Agent Baca tells us that that's because men are encouraging men and women to go first and they're willing to wait their turn, which is precisely why there are still so many men out there. And as we just said in our report, more people are trickling in, filling in those spaces, left those voids that were left behind by the women and children who are going on, moving on to be processed. We're going to remain out here at Sacred Heart Church and continue to monitor situations out here. And of course, we'll be reporting live all morning long for now. We're live out here at Sacred Heart Church. So, Science, ABC7, back to you.